Hello and welcome back once again to Full Octave Music. Today is a very special day. I'm going to review my Emerald Synergy Harp Ukulele. This instrument is built and was designed by Alistair Hay, who is the founder of the Emerald Guitars. This instrument is constructed of 100% carbon fiber. That's right, no wood, none, zero, not, <clears throat> nada. Okay, so the construction of this particular instrument is, of course, 100% carbon fiber. The top is actually a veneer of quilted maple and it is a very interesting looking design. When you see this up close and especially in a bright or a sunlight, it actually looks like you're looking at smoke on top of water. I know that might be a weird way to describe it, but that's the only way I can. It, it is, it's amazing amazing high quality instrument the design is based upon a standard tenor ukulele scale length 17 and a half inches strings gcea and then alistair because he doesn't just do anything normal it seems decided to make it into a harp as well so these strings here for our bass the tuning comes from the factory as an F. I changed it so that these strings are GCEA, so I made these strings also GCAC, um, excuse me, GEAC. Pardon me. The tuners are Goto, uh, which is also a high quality uh, tuner. They're extremely smooth. And when I mean smooth, I mean don't really realize you're actually turning it smooth. It doesn't have the gear inside like you would with a standard tuner where it kind of reminds you of opening a can of tuna fish with the gear and, and drive. Uh, in fact, when you're tuning this particular type of instrument with these instrument uh, tuners you have to actually kind of watch what you're doing because you can over tune it just as easily as anything because it's so smooth so effortless uh, the frets there's 19 frets they're stainless steel and let's just put it this way with a nylon stringed instrument you're never going to replace these frets you don't have to worry about that they're lifelong and that's a good thing the carbon fiber weave when you see it outside in the Sun is is amazing it just it just it sparkles it, I, I don't know if there are metallic elements to it I don't think there are because it's carbon fiber of course but it does have a shine to it which is really 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 cool uh, the pickups are bags and you don't need to have a battery in these pickups, which is really, really nice. Really nice. If you got a dead battery and you're playing, that can be not so much fun. Okay. Uh, the uh, bridge is um, also, it's, it's a pinless bridge. Um, uh, basically... Um, it's 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 like a I mean it's carbon fiber but it doesn't have the carbon fiber look to it obviously it's been uh, manufactured so you can't see the carbon fiber weave and so changing the strings on this instrument is very very easy because there's a ball on the end of these strings that go into a slot 
and you don't have to pull the pins up out of the top of the uh, the bridge like some instruments you do which I'm not a fan of that myself the sound hole is right in the top So when you're playing this, not only do you, can you hear it well, but it projects out to those who are hearing you, which is always a good thing, especially if you are in a situation where you are playing with other people talking in the background. It puts out a um, surprising amount of sound. It's the resonance of the bass strings, you can also hear when you're strumming the bass string resonance it comes through and when you're speaking if you have your mouth close to the hole it actually resonates which is really weird uh, the nut is a one and a half inches so even though I have my sausage roll gorilla paw fingers I can still play this instrument quite easily I love the feel of this instrument I love the sound of this instrument and it's very very lightweight 2.2 pounds that's nothing a ten and a half inch uh, scale of the body's width and the, um, uh, the um, distance of the, the the depth is about three and three quarter inches so the good thing about this particular instrument is that if you're going to fly on a plane you can put this into its case and it would be a perfect for carry-on the case is just slightly larger than the instrument itself so yes you could stow this in your overhead compartment easily or if you're driving with somebody and you're the passenger I hope you wouldn't be the driver you can play this instrument and not boop him in the face with the uh, neck um, the time I have plugged this into a system it sounded beautiful absolutely beautiful and I'm very very happy with this instrument I will recommend this instrument to any would-be uh, person who's interested in a forever instrument I mean literally if you were driving from Texas where it's just humid and you're going to Arizona which is arid you wouldn't have to worry about humidifying this I talked to a guy who had a, a tailor uh, a guitar and he took it to Arizona for a month and the top got split because he said he didn't humidify it well you could go from 40 degrees below zero weather and you could walk into a place that's 80 degrees and humid and the tuning would stay the same it is absolutely impervious to any and all weather conditions I would dare say you could probably, although I wouldn't recommend that you do this, and it's not my recommendation, if you end up doing this, don't blame me. You could probably paddle a canoe with this thing. Very happy, very happy with this instrument. And the plug for the sound uh, is in the bottom. And it does come with the strap buttons uh, installed which is a very nice feature because you hear about people who have to have them installed aftermarket. The low G string that you can add to this instrument will add even more tone to its availability. And uh, with, the, with the harp strings, this is the C, you can hit that and play a chord. You can hit A, this is A minor 7 and it doesn't clash it adds so much range and possibility this is a truly truly exciting exciting instrument and who who knows what can actually come from
from one of these instruments. The quality, the fit, the finish, the very high-end parts and pieces that are installed in this instrument carry with it a little bit of a price tag. But if you want to have an instrument that you'll never have to replace, that's the premise of what I do. I would rather buy one quality instrument than five less uh, well-constructed instruments that I have to end up replacing. This is a one and done deal. I'll never have to replace this instrument with anything else. And so to the Emerald Guitar Company, I say thank you. Thank you, thank you for your innovation. Thank you for your foresight into the future because I believe carbon fiber is going to become the material of the future for the construction of instruments. You're already seeing it in guitars, I've seen violins, I've seen other instruments, even standard ukulele, cellos. Um, it's becoming something that is beginning to catch fire here. So, Emerald Guitars, you can look them up online, emeraldguitars.com. And they actually have a new feature on their website. You can actually go on there and it's a three-dimensional builder. You can take this ukulele and you can completely customize it to exactly what you want and you can see what it looks like when you build it. And so that is a major, major, major thing that I think Emerald was very smart and wise to do. And there are other d designs that they have. I also have an Emerald guitar. It's a 12 string, it's also carbon fiber. And I can literally, if I, if I was going away for a year, I can tune it, put it on the guitar stand, come back and it's still in tune. It's amazing, 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 amazing. I can't rave enough about it. And the possibilities that I'm seeing with this instrument is, 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 is phenomenal. So, if you can, look into Emerald Guitars. They're amazing instruments, amazing quality, and it's worth the money in my opinion, be that as it may. Okay, friends, this has been the Emerald Synergy Harp Ukulele. And if there were some other words I could put to make the name longer, I certainly would. Okay, until next time, uh, like, subscribe, share, and I will be posting my other instruments here soon, um, hopefully in the next week. I've been a little bit under the weather, so I haven't really had a whole lot of motivation, if you will. So... Take care and make sure you keep the notification bell on because I will be doing a lot more content. I'm going to be interviewing musicians that are in the know and we'll see uh, where we go from there. All right.